Hello Church, we're looking at Isaiah chapters 11 through 13 today for our daily Bible reading. Word of the day is indignation. Now it's a word you may know, but you probably don't use that often. But here we're going to see it pick up in chapter 13, where it's describing God's wrath against the Babylonians, or those who are rebellious against God. Before we get to the bad news of God's indignation, though, we're going to look at, once again, the promise, the hope that those who believe in God, those who trust God, can have. So chapters 11 and 12 talk about this hope, the fact that from the stump of Jesse, which is uh, David's father, King David, there's going to become someone who is going to be completely filled with God's spirit, who's going to do amazing things, who's going to bring peace and healing and restoration and comfort uh, to those who trust in God. And then chapter 12 is a song kind of declaring how we should be uh, rejoicing and singing over the blessingness of this peace, this forgiveness we can have with a holy and righteous God because of his own plan, his own person, who we now know is Jesus of Nazareth to be this peacemaker for us. So that's the good news, that if you believe in God, even with the suffering we may face now or the short-term tri tri tribulations, the ultimate goal is great. But for those who do not believe in God, those who are classified as sinners, who have not placed their faith and trust in God, as represented here by the Babylonians, will deal with the indignation of God. And so let's read in chapter 13, verses 5 through 9, it says this, They come from a distant land, from the end of the heavens, the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Wail, for the day of the Lord is near, as destruction from the Almighty it will come. Therefore, all hands will be feeble, every heart will melt. They will be dismayed, pangs and agony will seize them. They will be in anguish like a woman in labor. They will look aghast at one another. Their faces will be aflame. Behold, the day of the Lord comes, cruel with wrath and fierce anger, to make the land a desolation and to destroy its sinners from it. This is the warning that we give to people even now to get right with a holy God before his wrath comes to punish sin. If you're keeping in line with us, tomorrow is March 7th, and we're going to be starting our Go Tell Evangelism series. We're looking at this exact fact, the good news and the bad news of a God who loves, who cares, but is also is justful and wrathful and will punish sin accordingly, either on Christ or on those who sin. That is a fair, just uh, application of God's love, his mercy, and uh, his indignation. All right, church, have a great day.